Have you been looking for a way to find an art style that you can love and enjoy drawing in? All this and more can be achieved easily if you try the method I'm about to show you. The first thing you need to do is compile a list of the artists that you admire and that inspire you the most. I would aim for at least three, but more or less is of course accepted. I'm going to use three of the artists I feel inspired by as an example. These three are Blue Biscuits, Carla Stalmau, and Marie Q. Sorry if I pronounced the names wrong. Each artist has heavily influenced my art style to be the way it is today. To make the list of artists, you can take a sheet of paper or open up the notes app on your phone to write your artist down. Step two is to identify which aspects of each artist style you like the most. Examples of this can be the way an artist draws eyes or their character's proportions. An aspect of Lou Biscuit's art style that I admire is her painterly rendering techniques and the way she draws certain facial features. Also jot these down or make sure to remember them for the next step. Now that you've listed your favorite artists and figured out what it is about their styles that you like, it's finally time to create your own art style. You should start by sketching out a typical character in your new style. Give the character the traits that you listed in step two. For me, the body proportions of the characters I normally draw are in between Blue Biscuits and Carla's doll mom. And the eyes are on the larger side like both Carla's doll mom and Marie Kim's styles. As for the shading style, I am also greatly influenced by Blue Biscuits and have similar painterly techniques. I also try to draw lots of background elements like Carla Stallman. So as you can see, all of these artist styles have blended together to form mine. Ultimately, the only thing that matters is if you are satisfied with your own art style. If you aren't the first time you do it, you should consider trying again, but maybe this time using a different artist or different aspects of another artist's style. Please also be aware that your style will change over time, sometimes only slightly and sometimes quite drastically. This is due to external interests you may have recently discovered or picked up again. For example, maybe in a couple months you become greatly inspired by a new artist and decide to incorporate something from their style into your existing style. Just be open to changes along the way and know that if you are posting your art online somewhere, you shouldn't keep yourself trapped in a box of drawing in a style you don't like just to keep your followers. This will eventually lead to burnout. Know that you will always be able to build a following on whatever art style you choose. And that's the end of this video. I hope you found it useful, and feel free to let me know if there's anything I could potentially improve for future videos. I've been focusing on publishing one long-form video and two shorts weekly, so please subscribe in order to stay informed when more come out.